if you are working with a tight budget for around 650 bucks, you can actually play at 1440p resolution, high to ultra settings with no issues. And of course, you can also use this system for 1080p high FPS gaming. This PC has no bottlenecks and I will also show you the level of performance that you can expect on both 1080p and 1440p. That way, if you are a beginner, you are able to understand me. All the links to these components will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. First, let's talk about the CPU. We have the AMD Ryzen 5 5500. With. This is one of the best entry level budget CPUs that you can get today for about a hundred dollars. It comes with six cores and is very power efficient and it doesn't consume a lot of power. And on top of that, the level of performance is actually pretty good for the price. Then for the motherboard, we have the ASRock B550M Pro 4 Micro ATX motherboard. This one, in my opinion is the best price to performance motherboard from the AM4 platform because you get all the features that you need for gaming and you also get multiple M.2 slots which means that you can always operate your storage down the line if you ever need more. Then for the memory kit we have 16 gigs of DDR4 memory in the Silicon Power X Power Turbine kit. This one is going for just $35 and honestly 16 gigs of RAM is going to be enough. If you're thinking of doing content creation or productivity work then you may consider upgrading to 32 gigs of RAM but for gaming 16 gigs is going to be just fine. Then for the storage we we have the team group t force set 44l one terabyte gen 4 ssd and this one is the cheapest kit that you can go with at just 50 bucks then for the graphics card and the most important component when it comes to gaming we have the rx 76 grid now this one has 8 gigs of iram which is not ideal for 1440p ultra settings on the latest triple a titles but for most games at 1440p you will have no issues and if you are working with this type budget you will not be able to get a graphics card that has more than 12 gigs of iram if you're new to pcs don't worry about what i'm saying but just know that 8 gigs of iram has some limitations if you are thinking of playing the latest AAA titles in the future on ultra settings. But if you are going to play games like Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5, then it's totally fine. And if you play easier to run games, you will be able to achieve 144 plus FPS on average at 1440p competitive settings. And if you want to play at 1080p, you will be achieving 200 plus FPS. For you to see the level of performance at 1080p on a 15 game average on high to ultra settings, the 76 grid was able to average 88 FPS, which is actually a really high number considering we are talking about high to ultra settings on these type of titles. And then on the same test at 1440p, the 76 grid was able to average over 60 fps which is actually a great number once again since we are talking about high demanding games so if you turn down the settings to high or medium you can expect way higher frame rates or if you turn on fsr which is the upscaler from amd then for the case i went with the montec air 100 argb micro atx mid tower case this one in my opinion looks amazing and it's one of the best cases for the price for just 60 dollars you are getting four pre-installed fans so you don't have to upgrade any fan yourself also the the RGB fans look amazing and the front mesh panel is going to give you plenty of airflow for this type of build. And also it is a micro ATX tower case which is going to match with the motherboard size. And last but not least, we have the power supply and I went with the Apivia Prestige 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply. This one is CT rated, meaning that it's going to be a really good quality for this type of build. If you want higher end components on the line, then I recommend you a B tier rated or an A tier rated power supply. But at this level of performance, a C tier rated is going to be more than enough. The total price for this system when I'm recording this video is $665. But I do recommend you checking the latest prices with the links in the description. Description. And I know I am $15 over budget, but I would not recommend you going under $650 bucks because in that case, you would get the RX 6650 XT, which is going to give you about the same level of performance as the RX 7600, but it's from an older architecture and it doesn't come with AV1 encoding. If you don't know what AP1 encoding is, it's basically an encoder that's going to give you a much better streaming quality. So if you want to start streaming on YouTube, then it's going to make a difference. And it's only a $15 difference. So I highly recommend you the 7600 if the prices are close to each other. Also, one potential upgrade that I do recommend you considering if you play easy to run games such as Fortnite on low settings at 1080p is the CPU to the Ryzen 5 5600. Now the 5600 right now is $150 
dollars so it's 50 dollars more expensive than the ryzen 5 5500 and honestly the 5600 at this price point is not great but it is going to be an upgrade in terms of performance if you play high cpu demanding titles especially at 1080p low settings and if you have a different budget or you want to play maybe at 4k resolution or 1440p but you want to achieve higher frame rates then i do recommend you watching my video on the best pc builds for 2024 where i go over every budget and every resolution 1080p, 1440p and 4k, low, medium, high and ultra settings. You will have that video in the top right of the screen and also in the description. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.